Hi, this is Lachmi Kantiwari. Welcome back to your new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can plot multiple axis line chart in your application. So here is a demo. So there is only a single chart, but there are multiple lines. It's an animated line and there are different different axis. Okay. So if you go back, okay, see here, it's animated and there are multiple axis. So we are gonna code is it will not take I think more than 10 to 15 minutes to complete this application. So first of all that we need to set our gradle that is very simple to set you need to copy its repository and paste it and then copy dependencies and then we need to paste that dependency here right and sync it. So while syncing let us create a line chart into activity underscore main dot xml get a read of this text view and here we need to set our align chart okay so match parent and match parent let's give id to this line chart as a chart one okay it's done now let's uh, close this apply gradle and that one let's uh, create an object here into main activity that java so that's the private and then line chart and uh, you can say it as m chart Okay, so come here and create here m chart is equal to a line chart and then find v by id and then r dot id dot you know a chart one perfect. Now I am not going to waste time to by setting all the properties of this m chart. So let us create another method which will you know the generate a data. So a private void and uh, a set data okay and uh, it will take a count okay so the number of counts which we want to create and then it would also take a range okay so take a int and a count and then there is int and range okay so let's call this set data from here you can call it very simply uh, that's a set data and uh, let's take a 40 points and uh, let's take a 60 range and after the settings we need to animate this okay so we can do with m chart dot animate x and uh, let's take it for one second okay that's the hundred sorry that's a thousand millisecond now let's create a data here so first of all that we need here a array list for uh, first line so there are three line line one two and the three okay so that is for data set one two and the three so we need a three array set here so the array list so it is a line chart so we need here entries okay so the type is entries and uh, here y y values okay so it's a y values and uh, what we need to do here uh, y values 1 equal to new array list okay and then we need to create here a for loop and then int i equal to 0 and then i would be less than to the count and then i plus plus right and uh, now let's create a float and then multi is equal to uh, uh, sorry uh, i don't think we need a multiplication here don't worry about that mult let's directly create our float value here so float is equal to you know sorry let's create a you know the, this random values okay sorry let's create these random values okay so well equal to you know the float and then sorry uh, math dot you know, the random and then you can multiply it with range okay so let's multiply with the range and uh, we need to set here uh, uh, offset let's add a 250 offset into a first line and then we need our y wells one dot add okay so here we need a new entry and uh, first we need our x so that is i and then we need our value okay so we have uh, created here for our uh, you know for data set one for line one now let's copy it we can do it very simply copy it okay and paste it three two times okay right so now let's change it to a value 2 and uh, we need to change it here also value 2 and uh, we need to change it to value 3 
and uh, we need to change it also here uh, value 3 uh, yes yeah, so we have here uh, y wells 1 y wells 2 and y wells 3 right perfect now we have created our random values now let's create a line data set now we need a line data set for all uh, for each of these three lines so that is set 1 and then set 2 and then set 3 right so first of all that we are gonna set uh, properties of set 1 so first set 1 is equal to new line data set and here we need to pass here y wells 1 and let's give it to a data a set 1 right and then set the properties of set 1 okay so first uh, set few properties of set 1 i think we can set these properties later so let's only create you know a uh, different different data set uh, so that we can move forward okay so let's create for set 2 and then set 2 is equal to new uh, line data set and then y wells 2 and here it's a data set 2 okay and let's create for set 3 and it's is equal to new uh, a line data set and here y wells 3 and uh, it's a data set 3 okay so here we have a set 1 set 2 and the set 3 now we need to create our line data right so here a line data line data a data is equal to new line data now we need to pass here our set 1 and then set 2 and then set 3 okay right so now let's set uh, data into our chart so that is chart dot a set data and uh, we need here data right finally uh, we have completed our application now let's run it okay so we need to do uh, you know set few more properties this graph may not look like this one which we have created but uh, overall uh, you know the looks will be almost the same however we may need to set the colors okay so i am just trying to make it uh, uh, you know the fast that's why i have skipped many uh, color settings uh, axis setting etc you know so it's uh, installing let it complete and uh, it will pop up uh, into mobile see here so there are many you know uh, uh, three graphs plotted uh, simultaneously but they are overlapped on each other uh, because of that uh, you know i have uh, here uh, I did a offset that was the same offset. So now let's uh, you know change this offset, and you will see here uh, axis will be different for each of these graphs. See here, so the axis one, axis two, and the axis three, right? So now you can do a lot of things. You can set the properties, etc., for each set. Suppose that for set one, we need we can change the properties of the color so that's the very simple let's make this color to a red okay and uh, let's hide the circle sorry let's hide the circle of set one so that's a very simple set a draw circle that would be a false and uh, let's uh, set a line width okay so the line width to this is by default 1f so let's set it to a 3f okay and let's run it and you will see that will look like you know uh, more uh, awesome see you know so so simply you can uh, you know set the properties of all these uh, all these other lines so that would be a very simple if you are following my previous tutorials you may have got the confidence and you can change a lot of properties here very simply so i would like to stop this tutorial here thank you so much for watching you can subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox okay bye bye have a nice day see you soon into next tutorial